VST Transit brings the power of the cloud to Cubase users the world over. You can use VST Transit to access your private projects, shared projects, and those projects friends have shared with you. To get started, drop down the new VST Cloud menu and select VST Transit. The first step is to log in to VST Transit. If you already have a My Steinberg account, you can use those credentials to log in. If not, click here to set up an account. Please make sure that you've registered your Cubase license and USB e-licensor at My Steinberg. This is necessary because the VST Transit server checks for a valid license in the associated My Steinberg account. And of course, you have the option to save your login credentials. This is the primary VST Transit window, subdivided into four tabs for Profile, Projects, Friends, and Logout. The Profile tab lets you enter data about who you are, where you are, what you're good at, and what your musical tastes are. You can list languages, other skills, instruments that you play, even genres that you enjoy, and the band or company with whom you're affiliated. There's also an About Me field for additional information you wish others to see when they explore your profile. And at the bottom is a very cool feature, the Audio Reference Area. This lets you upload a 30-second audio file of your music to help others get to know your musical style. In order to share your profile information with others, you need to enable this box. Your account information is summarized on the right side of the page. And if you decide to upgrade to a premium account, which affords more storage and more traffic, you can enter the license code here. Finally, be sure to save your profile data. The next tab, the Projects tab, is the heart of VST Transit. The Create Project button allows you to upload your current project to the VST Cloud. You have to save your project locally first, and only your media data is uploaded. The initial release of VST Transit allows you to store media data. But of course, this technology is being constantly updated, and the latest version of VST Transit will be installed automatically. The next three color-coded buttons allow you to show or hide your private projects, shared projects, and projects shared with you by friends, which we'll get to in just a moment. This same color coding is also shown down the left-hand margin to help you differentiate different types of projects at a glance. For every project, you'll see the name, owner, status, called state, size, and friends with whom the project has been shared. Then, along the bottom are controls which allow you to delete, download, sync, and open any given project, as well as the last button, which lets you invite friends to join your project. Finally, the Friends tab gives you the tools to reach out and connect with other Cubase users with whom you wish to collaborate. The Find User button allows you to search the VST cloud. You can search on any of the profile attributes, such as language, location, or genre. To invite them to collaborate, click Invite Friend, and then enter a brief message. And if things don't work out, you can also unfriend them right here. When another VST Transit user sends you an invite, you can use the Accept Invitation button to respond. There's also an Inbox and an Outbox. The Inbox helps you manage incoming invitations, and the Outbox summarizes invitation messages that you've sent. And there's an Information pane which summarizes data about the selected friend. To invite a friend to your project, open the Projects tab, select the project that you want to share, and if the project is not yet open and active, click Open Project to open and activate it. You have the option to click the triangle icon and show all of the tracks, and then deactivate any tracks that you wish to be invisible. Then click Invite Friend to Project, select the person you want to invite, click Invite Friend, enter a brief message, then click Send. When you record a track in a shared project, you are the owner of this track. This means that only you are able to edit or delete that track. Tracks that are owned by individual project members are indicated by a lock icon. However, you can duplicate a locked track and edit the duplicated track, and you are the owner of the duplicate. 
the Projects tab also gives you the option to synchronize your local version with the VST Cloud version. An up arrow indicates that you have edited the project and your edits are not yet synchronized with the VST Cloud. A down arrow means that your version is not up to date. You can synchronize to receive the latest version of the project. To synchronize a project with the VST Cloud, you first have to open it and the project has to be active. When you synchronize, your edits will be uploaded and all available edits by other project members will be downloaded. To do this, simply click Sync Project. By the way, please keep in mind that VST Transit is not intended as a backup solution. It's intended to facilitate the exchange of creative ideas. When opening a shared project from the VST Cloud for the first time, you must download it before you can open it. First, open the Projects tab and then select the shared project that you want to download. Click Open Project. You'll see the Steinberg Hub open for creating a new project and to define the location for this project on your hard drive. The cloud icon then becomes a house to show that the project has moved from the cloud to your local storage. All downloaded media data is shown in the track list for the project. Finally, save the project to your local hard disk, and we recommend that you give it the same name as is shown on the Projects tab. You can give it any name you wish, but keeping the names the same will help reduce possible confusion later.